Har Har Mahadev. I'm going to talk about the Rudraksha beads today. These beads are a part of the Elocarpaceous family of banyan trees. So these trees are huge in size and they grow these fruits. And when these fruits, they ripen up, they will fall down and they are covered by a thick layer. And when these coverings are broken, inside you will see the Rudraksha beads. So friends, Rudraksha beads are compared to the tears of Lord Shiva. So the word Rudraksha is made up of two small words, Rudra and Aksh, which means the teardrops of Lord Shiva. Aksha means teardrops and Rudra is Lord Shiva. So when you happen to wear them, they will benefit you a lot. A lot of people tend to believe that gemstones do not work or due to some economical reasons, they will not go in for buying gemstones. But for these people, Rudraksha can be a very good alternative because these are hugely powerful and they contain electromagnetic radiations which will pass on to the brain cells and they will alter your state of mind. So friends, when the changes inside us happen, then the changes outside us will also happen. This is something which we all know. So Rudraksha works on this. If we talk about our Puranas, lots of Puranas, our classical texts, they mention about the Rudraksha and, it, and its faces. So there are lots of Rudrakshas that you will see in the market from one-faced to 14-faced. But in the Puranas, it is mentioned that there are up to 14-faced Rudrakshas. But in the market, you will also see 21-faced Rudrakshas. So friends, the genuine ones are grown in Nepal and uh, Indonesia countries, but you will have lots of fake ones all across the globe. So I will tell you about the ways how to distinguish between a fake Rudraksha and the real one. So these Rudrakshas can be of different colors. They can be of red color, yellow color, white color and black color. But when they ripen up, it is very difficult to distinguish between uh, the colors. So as I told you, Rudraksha beads are very powerful and um, they should be smaller in size. If you wear a big sized Rudraksha, it may not be that beneficial. So wearing a smaller sized one will be uh, more beneficial to you. And a lot of people use Rudrakshas for chanting the name of Lord Shiva. So that is good. But if you are using that mala, that necklace for chanting uh, Lord Shiva's name, then you should not use that for wearing. If you want to wear it, you first purify that by dipping it in the Ganga Jal. And only after that, you should wear that or you sh should use it for chanting Lord Shiva's name. If you happen to chant Lord Vishnu's name, then you should not use Rudraksha. Then you should use Tulsi Mala. But if you want to chant Lord Shiva's name, then Rudraksha is very beneficial. So friends, there are different uses of different faces of Rudraksha that you happen to wear. So I will make a separate video of uh, the benefits of different faced Rudrakshas in my forthcoming videos. So today I will tell you how to distinguish between the fake Rudraksha bead and the genuine one. So there are certain things that you should keep in mind. So the first thing is that the real Rudraksha, the genuine Rudraksha, when you dip it in, it in a vessel of water, the real Rudraksha will settle down. But the fake ones or the ones which are like uh, eaten up by insects will start floating uh, on the surface. So that is the first thing to keep in mind. The second thing is that the real Rudraksha, when you dip it in a vessel of milk, the milk will not get spoiled even after 24 hours. Now, the third thing to keep in mind is that these Rudrakshas, they have electromagnetic radiations. So if you keep them in the center of copper plates, they will start rotating in a circular motion. The ones that are rotating in the clockwise motion, the 
they are very genuine ones. So if they are rotating, it means they are genuine ones. And the ones that rotate in the clockwise, clockwise motion are very, very auspicious ones. So the third thing to keep in mind is that if you happen to like shake them up and bring them near your ear, you will hear a very soft, soothing sound which is coming out of the original Rutrakshas. Then the fifth thing is that the grooves that you see on the surface of the Rudraksha are like equidistant if they are the fake ones. But if they are the original ones, then the grooves will be uh, not equidistant. So that is the real way to check how to distinguish between the fake and the original Rudraksha. The other thing is that they do not contain any holes. So often you happen to see the Rutraksha beads which are having hole inside it. So real Rutrakshas do not have any hole. Holes are usually made by people artificially. But if you get a Rutraksha which is already having a hole inside it, if you happen to buy the one which is covered and you break it and you see a hole inside it, that is a very auspicious Rudraksha. Lastly, the Rudraksha surface is usually rough, but it is not thorny. But the ones which are artificially made can have a very thorny outer surface. So that shows that it is not a, a genuine Rudraksha. So friends, there are various ways that you can test. And once you buy them, you also need to know which faced Rudraksha will suit you a lot. Like one faced Rudraksha is very good for people who are doing independent work. So that is having the blessings of Lord Shiva. And those people who are independent professionals like actors, uh, politicians, doctors, for them one faced Rudraksha will be very useful for their growth. Those people who are in the business partnerships should wear a two-faced Rudraksha or those of us who want that things should grow in continuity should wear a two-faced Rudraksha that contains the blessings of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. So friends, this was just a, a teaser that I gave you about the Rudraksha faces. I will make a dis uh, detailed video about different faced Rudrakshas and their benefits. So continue watching my channel and very soon I'll come up with the benefits of different faced Rudraksha beads. So that's all for now. And I hope you must have gotten to know something new through this video. So stay connected, stay blessed and see you very soon. All the best.